Okay, so hello and welcome back. Now, uh, there is there is something essentially called when we talk about numbers. There is a there is a word that comes up, which is essentially which is essentially a numeral, and it's important to know what the numeral is um, because. Um, because of the fact that for example you need to know about for example the roman about the nom roman numerals so for example there is the roman numeral there is the there is the hindu arabic numeral system there is and there is different of course different numeral systems and then there is essentially it gets confusing sometimes if you don't know what these actually are and what the distinctions are because there is something called essentially there is something called that you there is something that you can call essentially a numeral then there is something called um, basically a a numeral system Then there is something called a number. Then there is something called a number system. And then there is something called the um, the system of numeration. So these are all different things, meaning there is there is essentially a there is something that you can call a numeral, then, then there is the, the, the numeral system. These two essentially are closely related. Then there is something that you can call a number, number system, system of numeration, and so on and so forth, right? Now, in order to understand essentially the difference between all of these things, all of these different phrases or words, so there is, there is the numeral, right? A numeral is, for example, when you write a number, for example, 13,452, that's a number. That, and your number is in the decimal number system. So that's the number system, meaning the base of the number is base 10, for example. So this is a number in the decimal number system. And... And then, and then essentially the, um, in order to write this number, basically what you need is these different digits. For example, you need a two, you need a five, you need a four, you need a three, you need a one. These are called the numerals. And this, that the whole system that essentially contains these numerals that you could call, for example, the numeral system, right? So then, essentially, as, as, as soon as you write a number, essentially, all of these things become clear, meaning that, essentially, first of all, you, you, you want to write a number, for example, 452, that's a number, right? In some number system, which is, for example, let's say, then decimal number system, the, then octal number system, the hexadecimal number system, the binary number system, so the number has to be in some system, which is the number system. And then, in order to write this number, essentially, you need these different characters like 4, 5, and 2. These are essentially called the numerals, right? Now, there is, uh, there is different types of numerals, of course. There is, for example, the, the, the Roman numerals that are, for example, you would write them as 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is, for example, 4. And this is five, and well, I'm not really sure if you're supposed to write it, but uh, the five is supposed, for example, to be written like this. This is a five, this is a six, for example, and so on and so forth. This is these are called Roman numerals. There is there is essentially um, some type of numerals that we normally use in our numbers. These are called Hindu. These are called Hindu Arabic, Hindu Arabic numerals. Then there is, for example, the Devanagari, 
Then there is the Devanagari numerals, which is called, which is essentially the Devanagari numerals, for example, <coughs> which are used essentially in the Devanagari, essentially alphabet, and the Devanagari alphabet is used then for the Sanskrit language, for the Hindi language, and so on, so on and so forth. So um, now, what's what's what's? And then there is the system of numeration. The system of numeration is something like, for example, the 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 Indian system of numeration. Or, for example, the, the international system of numeration. So, the same number, for example, 45,642 and 45,642, right? So, in these two numbers, essentially, the numerals are of the Hindu Arabic numerals. So, the, the numerals that I have used are, are essentially the Hindu Arabic numerals. The number system used to write these numbers because the base is 10 is the decimal number system and uh, <clears throat> and of course these are you can call them of course numbers but then you, they can come in different systems of numeration for example in the international system of numeration is this the, the, the number is written like this for example let's put a three over here and a two over here Let's put a 3 and a 2 over here as well. So in the international system of numeration, then you have 3 digits here, a comma, 3 digits, another comma, and then the rest of the digits. In the Indian system of numeration, the same number, in the same number system, using the same numerals, you would write it as 3 digits, 1 comma, 2 digits, 1 comma, and then another two digits again one comma and so on and so forth right and then of course in the international number system then the same number is read as two million three hundred forty five thousand six hundred forty two in the indian system of numeration the same number is read as twenty three lakhs forty five thousand six hundred forty two right and then there is and then there is something that there is something that that is also interesting about numerals and number systems for example a 35452 right if if the number system is taken as the decimal number system meaning the base is 10 and then the same number 35452 you can write that you can write the number in the octal number system 35, 452, you can write it in the hexadecimal number system, meaning the base is 16. So in all of these, um, essentially in all of these number systems, number systems which are, by the way, positional number systems, meaning that you have the ones place value, which is a position, you have the tens place value, which is another position, you have the, uh, basically the, the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and so on and so forth these are all positional number systems so then in all of these numbers which of course represent different values because they come in different number systems i have used the exact same numerals but the meaning of this four over here is different from the meaning of this four is different from the meaning of this four this four for example represents a for example 400 marbles in this case the four represents for example a um that's um that's a fewer number of marbles because the base is 10 and this place value is over here is for example 10 raised to power 0 1 and 2 that's 10 raised to power 2 that's 100. that over here of in this case essentially in the case of this number this place value is 8, eight raised to power 0 which is 1 8 raised to power 1 which is 8, 8 raised to power 2 which is 64. So that's 4 times 64, that, that is 4 times 64 marbles, but this is 4 times essentially 100 marbles. Of course, this would be a larger number of marbles as compared to 
here and then this number over here essentially this 4 over here this means 4 times essentially 16 raised to the power 2 which is I think it is 256 if I'm not mistaken so a 16 times a 16 is 256 which means that this 4 is is actually nothing this 4 essentially over here actually means 4 times 256 so the the higher the base of the number system then of course the value of this 4 essentially keeping the thing essentially keeping in the same position then the, the value of the 4 is going to increase or decrease right so now essentially in the in the next video we will we will talk about we will talk about a little bit about the the the, the hindu arabic numeral system and then uh, also we in the essentially after that we will talk about the roman numerals that are used essentially in mathematics different branches of science and so on and so forth thank you